Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Lauren. Today, I'm gonna to show you a new handbag. And this one is extra special because I feel like the price point of this handbag is so good. It's hard to find a designer, luxury handbag that's all leather. Here in Canada, I would say under the $2,000 mark. This one, all in, I had a discount code. I will explain that later. I paid $14.51 for this. So under $1,500 Canadian. I think if you're in the States, which a lot of my viewers are, um, I think this is gonna cost you probably with tax about $1,200. I'm really sorry if the sun's going in and out. It is after work. I'm pretty exhausted, it's 4.30, but I just picked this up and I had to show you. So let's open it together. I have not seen this, so hopefully, knock on wood, that this unboxing goes well, because there's been times where they have not gone well. Okay, so I will show you this. It is from Farfetch, and it is by Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent packaging is always really amazing. So this one actually shipped to me from the Vancouver Saint Laurent store. Actually, my other handbag I got from Farfetch from Saint Laurent that I ended up returning came from Vancouver too. So let's open her up. I'm really excited because I have not looked in here yet and I'm gonna try not to ruin the packaging, but I feel like I will. Here is the box. So you can tell it's a smaller handbag and this video is not sponsored by Farfetch. I know that I have worked with them multiple times in the past, but I've also shown you items that I buy with my own money as well. So I just love this site. So I just took off the ribbon there. Here we go. And then, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> it's so small, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I've also had a lot of caffeine today, so I'm really sorry. Like I said, it's after work. I've had, I think, three coffees today, and I'm also kind of running on adrenaline because I was really excited for this to come in. So this is, I think the actual name of it, let me pull it up really quickly and take a breath. It is called the Saint Laurent Toy Shop Mini Bag. So I know that they make their classic totes, which are larger, like the East West tote. Um, and I know they make a little toy version of that that's a little bit bigger than this. But this one, when I saw it, I said, what the heck is that? It is so cute. It is so cute. So um, if you know me, then you know that I love mock croc. Um, and unfortunately, all my mock croc bags are by Balenciaga and I'm not using them right now. So I felt like I needed to fill my mock croc void. So this is it. Let me just take out the stuffing and I should probably inspect the handbag as well. Um, it just has the paperwork there. And then, oh! Actually, I knew it had this. This is, oh my goodness, it's so small. How do I do this? Okay, it has that little, what's this called? Cloche? Clo I don't know what it's actually, how I'd actually say it, but it's, oh, it's so small. The little YSL logo here. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Now you can see it a little bit better. I think that this is twisted the wrong way. Actually, I think it's supposed to lie flat like that, but it just says Saint Laurent, and then it has that little um, logo there if you wanted to expose it. You don't have to. Before I keep getting excited, let me quickly look over this and hope that there is nothing wrong with it because I did mention the last one that I got from Saint Laurent did have um, a few irregularities, like a few dents and marks and scrapes and scuffs. So let me look over this really quickly. Okay, everything looks good. I am so excited. Actually, let me take this part off because I haven't taken a peek at this, but I checked the corner wear um, and I checked the inside as well. There's like one tiny little scuff on the inside, but I feel like that's bound to happen because this is just leather on the inside. But here is the strap. Let me get the other side on. And it is also adjustable, which you know I love and which I feel like every handbag brand should make an adjustable strap. The fact that they're not doing that is a little bit odd to me, but here she is. I also fixed this now so that it's facing the front, but 
Look at that leather. Look at the mock croc. It is stunning. So it just says Saint Laurent Paris there. Like I mentioned, it has this little guy here that you could remove. On the hardware here, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. It's that antique gold, but it does say Saint Laurent as well. The back plane, it doesn't have any feet. The inside has no pockets or anything. It's just a little open tote, but um, I think she is so cute and i love the size of it too and you can carry it like a little tote if you would like or like i mentioned you can wear it crossbody and you can adjust it as well you could wear it on your shoulder you could take the strap off and just carry it as is i don't think you could well i guess you could carry it in the crook of your arm if you wanted to as well but like i mentioned for the price point of this handbag and it being all leather and it being Saint Laurent, I think it's pretty good. So going over some of the details you might want to know, I did pick this up from Farfetch. It does say last one left, so it looks like there's only one left now. It says 1440. Again, this is in Canada. I was charged taxes as well, but I did have a 10% off discount code. So if you are a essential worker, so if you're a teacher, you work in the military, you're uh, a nurse, then you get a 10% off discount and it works i would say for the majority of the brand so a lot of the times when i work with farfetch the promo code that i give you can exclude certain brands like saint laurent but the essential workers discount works on it so um if you are an essential worker then definitely go type in like farfetch essential worker discount um they'll get you to verify it through your work email but um once that's all done it's a very smooth process so the actual size of this it is 7.1 inches high and then it is 6.7 inches across and then it is 3.1 inches this way so for example my phone which is the iphone 14 fits in easily as you can kind of see here and there's tons of room there isn't a little snap closure here to make it secure i wish there were there were that would probably make it a 10 out of 10 well it already is kind of a 10 out of 10 just because how cute it is but having that additional snap closure would have been nice but um it does my phone if you do want to see an in-depth review on this i can definitely do that for you let me see some other specs that you might want to know i'm on the american site right now you can get this on Saint Laurent and it is 1,190 um, US. So if you can find it on Farfetch and you can get an extra discount, that would be amazing. It is made of 100% calfskin, but because it is this croc embossed leather, I feel like similarly to my Balenciaga, it won't get scratches very easily, which is really nice. I, um, I do wish there were feet on the bottom, but that's okay. I generally don't rest my handbag sort of on a table or on, I don't know, the ground or anything like that. So I feel like it's okay. I think mini feet just would have been cute on it. Uh, I will also link the other toy um, tote they have because it is quite a bit bigger or maybe I'll show you in like a little insert here It's quite a bit bigger. I do really like this mini size I also think that toy one is a couple hundred dollars I think that it will be really good to dress up But also dress down and like I said the size just seems perfect for me because I don't carry a ton This would definitely fit my essentials if you do want to see an in-depth review on this If you want to see what it looks like on my body frame um, please let me know. I just really want to share this with you because when I saw it on the Farfetch site and I saw the price and I saw how cute it was, I thought that this would make just such an amazing handbag and a pretty good value as well. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!